Hello, this is Reverend Danham once more, and today's video will be entitled The Bible and How It Can Be Useful in Spiritual Working for Clients, Friends, or Yourself. Um, as well as showing you a little bit of how I make my own holy water. Yeah, making my own holy water. Well, being a reverend, um, I've been trained in some of the ways on how to make holy water. There's not just one given way. Um, even though there is the standard, which is the Catholic form, I like to use some of the other ways that I've learned. Um, so to begin this video, what I'm going to show you is a Bible. Yes, a Bible. <laughs> well, I have a, a Bible, and it's pretty neat because I've got the Catholic um not the Catholic, the, uh, what do you even call this, Larry? The Celtic cross on the front of my Bible, which kind of reminds me of the card spread I do with my tarot for my clients. And uh, I don't just read the tarot for my clients. I do a lot of other psychic workings as well. And as you can tell, I've got my clergy badges in here making, uh, like using them as bookmarks when I'm not using them around town or whatever. And uh, the Bible is not your enemy, people. The Bible is not, you know, your enemy when it comes to spiritual work, especially in Wicca, uh, Santeria, Voodoo, Voodoo, whatever working you might be doing. If, you know, there's a part of you that's still connected to God or the Lord in your own way, and you're kind of like, you know, getting into spiritual stuff here with Wicca, whatever religions might be out there. Um, a neutral part is to be able to go and, and look at the Bible, truly look at the Bible. And you'll find that when going through the Psalms and going through certain passages in the Bible, like Psalm 23, or the Lord's Prayer, or the Shepherd's Prayer. These things can act as incantations, or the words, the power words, that you can use in your spiritual work. For instance, if I grab a candle, um, that example, I'm not going to use that one. Let me use a plain prayer candle here. If I use a plain prayer candle like this, or just a regular white paper candle, you can pick them up either on my website, which I'll post the link down below on the information bar, or, you know, you can pick them up at any grocery store. They're pretty cheap and come normally 12 to a pack. Um, sometimes you can find a case, which is a really good deal, because it's only like 7 8 bucks is you take the candle, you do all the normal intention work on it, you put your special oils, write the person's name into the candle, put the picture of that person with the candle, whatever. Then you put it down and you use your psalm. Um, for instance, let's say we just want a general psalm for blessing. I would do Psalm 23 and then we would go ahead and just hold the candle in our hands, or, you know, put our hands over it if we've got it stationary. And we would recite that psalm, focusing on that energy going into the candle. And then, you know, we could light it, or when we light it, we can say that. You've got to be creative. But using the Bible and, and the psalms as power words for this work can really be a good thing and can really help and work out great. So it, it's great for people that want to be neutral. Now, with holy water, and the way I make mine is I go out and I get spring water, and I get the purest water I can find. Living in the mountains, we have a lot of natural water that falls off the mountains here. And what I like to do, or what I want to do, so to speak, when I can, is go out there and I just take my bottle and I kind of like, you'll see it dripping at certain places and I kind of put the bottle on the mirror and I let it drip down into it as, 
as much as I can get off of there. And then, you know, when I think that I've gotten enough, I'll just put the lid on it, bring it home, and I'll set it in the sun for several days. And I'll let it just ferment in the sun, and the sun can, you know, have really cleansing properties and help banish whatever, you know, forces might be a little bit more neutral from the water. And then what I'll do is I have special prayers that I do over mine. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are unless you want to request them from me in an email. And then I'll go ahead and email you back with whatever prayers um, I think would be good for you. So what I do is I do my special prayers over it. But what I do is I grab my mixing bowl. Let's say this is my mixing bowl right now. It's got my hands. It would be an empty bowl with nothing in it, a clean one. I would make sure it's clean by washing it first. Even if there was just a little dust on it, I'd still wash the whole thing. And then I would pour the water into the bowl, and I would take a candle that was just high enough by a couple of inches to go above the water when setting it down into the middle of the bowl. So it would look like this. Okay? And then I would light the candle, and I would just put my hands around it with the candle flame kind of in the middle so I don't get burned. And I would pray. And I would put that special prayer, that special incantation into the water. And I would focus on the universe. And I would focus on universal energy going into the water. And I would focus on everything positive in life. I would focus on everything that could possibly be good. And I would focus on cleansing energy, energy that could wash things away. And I would put that attention for it when I was praying over the water. So, hope you liked the video and hope it was informative.